every year we do a certain special thing for the hollow beans because <clears throat> green while you talk okay this is gonna play great on youtube um we have a tradition in america probably other places as well uh during halloween the tradition is the sexy costume now we here at radio dead air do not have a problem with sexy if, if you and adult consenting people want to be sexy and you want to feel yourself being sexy and look sexy awesome sauce that is great rock on with your sexiness what we do have issue with however is we question your taste and judgment is what we're yeah. tasting here uh, is what, what I, we question what you consider sexy yeah, and and why and how you how yeah because yeah and and it, before you be like well what who are you to judge well welcome to the hollow worst we are looking at the best of the worst of sexy who are you to judge you're about to find out let's start it's it's not just the things it's not just the sex it's the things you're wearing that you're you're hoping other people will find sexy your yeah. own costume like if you want to be a sexy nurse or a okay. sexy flight attendant or a sexy devil sexy schoolgirl, we get it but you can going your ass off in half the country but that's your call but however sexy little cartoon boy is is one that I have questions over. Yeah. I don't know what character that's supposed to be. Dexter from Dexter's Lab. Oh. Se sexy I was little... like, is that Professor Utonio? I know, yeah, you'd think, right? You'd think, right? But no, no. No, no. This is this is But it's uh, a child. Yes. This is this is Dexter from Dexter's Labs, only as sexy. Also, I feel the need to point out a lot of these bodysuits, as the owner of Labia, the, these bodysuits almost always will only accommodate one. The other one is going to be on display. You can switch over the course of the night, <laughs> but one of your Labia is going to be out. Yeah. Because they don't and how a crotch works yeah what, what what you want you don't want if you're going out you're like i want to come home with somebody i don't want think you want to attract somebody who's sitting there at watching cartoon network at 3 a.m going damn dexter's hot that's just it seems to me maybe you want to aim a little a little higher like i personally don't want to go home with a dude who thinks anything on cartoon network is hot i i can appreciate this personally don't yell at me about anime. <laughs> they will yell at you. Don't about fucking anime. hear it. You know what I mean. You know what? Don't yell at me about the Harley Quinn show. Current, you know what the fuck I mean. All right. Well, now never let it be said that we are we we discriminate here because it's not just the women with questionable choices in the costume. This is another one, and I don't know who you want to go home with, man or woman or not binary or whatever. I don't know, know who you want to go home with that is sitting around and thinking, you know what? I want to get railed by Buzz Lightyear. Oh. Sexy toy astronaut costume for men. I mean, look, Chris Evans is going to be voicing him. <laughs> Buzz Lightyear? Yeah, they're doing a prequel movie and Chris Evans is going to do the voice. So my opinion might change. Okay, but on the other hand, look at this costume, Tara. Look look at this I thing. wouldn't even guess Buzz Lightyear. I would think you were a sexy Infinity Gauntlet. Yeah, he's got the, he's got the, the dots. Yeah, but... Or like... A dancer at a... 
pride parade, maybe, or like it doesn't really scream to infinity and beyond, does it? No, like I would not look at that and see Buzz Lightyear at all. You know how much this costs? 70 goddamn US dollars. 70 fucking dollars. Fucking 70 fucking 70 fucking dollars for that. I see that you can buy the astronaut helmet for another $30. Oh, well that'll make it perfect. That that will that'll that'll explain it to everyone. I feel like you could do a sexy Buzz Lightyear costume that you'd know is Buzz Lightyear. That you just look like you're dancing back up in a Lil Nas X video. Which is fine. But you don't look like Buzz Lightyear. The next one caters to a very specific set of people. It's a demographic. Um, who are very vocal about one particular thing. And if, if you thought that the dudes who lost their shit about Space Jam 2 and Lola Bunny not having giant fucking honkers was, was if you look at those dudes and say, yeah, that's my dating pool. Well, guess what? We have good news. There's a costume for you. The baller babe bunny costume. Like, I wouldn't want to, be, I wouldn't even want to be a, to know the names of the people who lost their shit over the Lola Bunny. You know? I do know some of their names because they have YouTube channels and they never shut the fuck up. Um, I couldn't even imagine wanting to date some of those dudes. You know? Or even just bring them home for a night. The, people the costume go, isn't terrible. People in the channel are going on, but but furries. No, you know full well this isn't shit about furries. This was specifically this culture war quartering bullshit. Oh, the bunny yeah, doesn't have tits anymore. Yeah, it wasn't the furries. It wasn't the furries that were an issue. This was, oh, the bunny doesn't have tits anymore. I'm dead. What Girls are supposed to make my penis tickle, and if they don't, they're broken. Girl broken. <laughs> it's the same people that were mad at what Harley Quinn looked like in Birds of Prey. You don't want to, you don't want that. You don't want to bring that person home. Fuck that person. Fuck Anytime that. it's the same dudes that were mad about Captain Marvel being Captain Marvel. Anytime a woman is created not specifically to tickle their penis, they get mad. Well, all right. Even okay, here's the one. This this is another baffling one. It, you know that, that that I've played the clip a few times. The the costume warehouse with the sexy, sexy, sex, you know, like sexy doctor, sexy nurse, sexy, sexy. There is a thing that's already all right. Black Widow's costume was not exactly you know subtle. Let's be honest, the skin tight fucking pleather and shit. But is unzipped down here. Yeah. But apparently that's that that wasn't enough because presenting Starline's avenging assassin. We got to add the fishnet to that. Oh, come on. <laughs> right. <laughs> you already have the Black Widow outfit, but that's apparently not enough. You're looking at the Black Widow outfit and saying, it leaves a little too much to the imagination. <laughs> but you do get a high-belted pouch. So, awesome. <laughs> also, oh my god, that wig is tragic. That wig is, that is a crime. That is a crime. I've been... Like, I thought they put <clears throat> bad wigs on Scarlett Johansson in the actual movies, but... That is worse. Like I, I've been introducing you to Titans on on HBO because that that's just a terrible wigs all yeah, around. Yeah, thanks for that. By the way, you're welcome. I, I was not lying. Been, those those were terrible wigs. Times. That Raven wig always kills me. It's horrible. 
But uh, yeah, this was this was even more special. God damn. Um, like the part isn't even straight. It isn't. But who looked at Natasha Romanoff and was like, "Nah, that's not sexy enough." I know. Well, another thing about these costumes is some of them just make no effort, and you could tell they were recycled from other fucking things. Mm-hmm. Um. But just in case you have the burning need on Halloween evening to say, oppress me, money daddy. Um, here is the sexy spaceman billionaire costume. Yeah, that's. Yeah, there you go. That's that's a whole uh, that's the whole thing. Nobody's going to know what you're supposed to be. Nobody's, no one is going to have any fucking idea what you're supposed you're to gonna be. You're going to have to, that's the costume that you're going to have to explain to everybody all night. Cowboy hat sold separately, of course. And this thing already costs. So what you're doing is you're spending $75 on a fucking jumpsuit. Se- 75 bucks on a jumpsuit. Yeah. <laughs> to be sexy Jeff Bezos. Yeah. And not even, I mean. What? If you're going to do this, have some fucking guts and get a bald cap. Right? None of this blonde extensions bullshit. But wait, there's, there's another fad. Of being a pro- of of sexy oppression, um, I haven't watched Squid Game yet. It's Netflix. I'm having issues with Netflix right now. I think we all are. Um, but there, Squid Games, big thing on Netflix about bunches of of people playing children's games for the hope of money. And, it's uh, kind of the Running Man meets Hunger Games. Yeah, and and uh, the 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 one thing that people were looking at was they were looking at the uh, the the monitor folks and going, you know what? I, if only those could be a little more sexy. There's the, 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 the squid. Yes. The sexy squid game. Yeah. There you go, kids. That's, uh, also, $80 $80 and it's sold out. C- completely fucking sold, sold out. What color? I know, right? It's supposed to be red. Yeah. I guess copyright, maybe. I don't know. And it's supposed oh. to have a hood. They were probably I just mean, at least reci- it comes with the accessories. They, 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 they were just probably recycling shit. Yeah, they just added a gimp mask with a shape on it to they something did. they had last yep. year. Yeah. It's terrible. Who is who was watching Squid Game and go, you know what? I really want to get railed by one of those faceless dudes. Oh, I promise. Wait. <laughs> read the YouTube comments this one time. <laughs> I know you don't like to, but just this one time, read the YouTube comments uh. because I think you'll find some answers to that question. Well, from you're old he- enough to know Rule Thirty Four. From here on, it's all downhill because the last four, they aren't even trying. I'm still waiting for the day we actually beat Sexy Corn. Um, these next few, no one is no one is even making an effort here, and yet somehow some of these are sold out. Um. I don't understand who how this got thrown together. I present to you men's weed doctor costume. Yeah. What? I don't what? Nothing about that says weed to me except that, that green. it's green. Yeah. It's red. I don't no, no one made anything resembling an effort here. 
Like we couldn't even put a couple of marijuana leaves on each of his ass cheeks. Right. Now, I, I, if you're going to the party like this, people are going to spend all night asking, what, what, are you, what are you supposed to be? I'm a weed doctor. Yeah, this is another what? one you're just going to have to explain to everybody all night. Yeah, I mean, this... Unless so, you get baked ahead of time and smell like weed. I had to do it, yeah. It's just, it's... This is so bad. So, I don't... Yeah. Un- this like, is- I would think, like, lifeguard, maybe? No one made any fucking effort here. None. No effort. No. Like zero effort. However, here's another one that's like no effort and <laughs> it's got some fun. Okay. It's eBay for one thing. Sexy Starline McKenna Orange Hooded Romper South Park Kenny costume. What? Sexy Kenny. Sexy South Park Kenny, everybody. Now, what is about... Is South Park still a thing? Apparently, yes. But even Does regardless... Does anybody know who Kenny is anymore? I, I can... I, I don't even... I don't I can imagine that South Park's like boomer shit at this point, but... um, What about this? How... This is another one of those costumes you'd be spending all night. People like, what are you? I'm Kenny yeah. from South Park. But like sexy. But like sexy, yeah. I also want to point out the note at the top. This seller is away until October 31st. If you buy this item, expect a delay in shipping. (laughs) You're selling Halloween costumes on eBay. And you go, you aren't available to send them before Halloween. (laughs) The question, what occasion are you buying this for? Uh, if it's not going to get there by Halloween, where are uh, you wearing it? It's it's just so bad. It's like the hat was thrown together with the other shit. Just yeah, like, it's it's so bad. I feel like you could make that better on your own. Like just get a little puffer jacket with a hood yeah. and wear it with orange hot pants or something. All right. Now, I f- I'm feeling bad for this guy because this guy we keep seeing, this one dude, is the only model in all of <laughs> He's these. The only one. He's the only male doing the modeling. It's the only guy doing the modeling, any of these. I feel bad for him. And you're going to feel, if you didn't feel bad for him before, oh my God, you're about to because this is fucking terrible. Here's. A little Harley Quinn for the hetero ladies. Oh my god. The men's nobody fool jester costume, it too is oh. sold out. That is just so bad. That is so bad. That is so what? bad. <laughs> Why not just be sexy Joker? Uh, well, don't know. You know what? Don't don't restrict. I mean, I guess if your girl's gonna be the Joker, or if you're right. a male male couple, be se- be sexy. Harley. If you want, if you're if you're a dude and you want to be sexy Harley, fucking be sexy Harley. Do whatever. However, this is just a terrible fucking costume. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this terrible thing. This is so bad. <laughs> He looks so dead inside. He does. And He's, I don't think it's just Photoshop. You got to pay the student loan somehow, man. You just welcome to, with, welcome to the capitalist hell's game. We're impressed that we made a men's costume that is more hypersexualized than Harley was in the first Suicide Squad movie. Seriously? But even though, like, okay, it's not, that fucking impressive. But, all right, it's like hypersexualized by someone who doesn't understand how to be sexy. So, like, how the fuck do we make this sex? I get. Neither of us is a gay man. All right, true. True. That's true as well. Yeah. Like, it's very leather daddy. It is. Although, it's like, I don't understand why the the hood and the straps and, I mean, the the shorts, okay. I kind of get the shorts, but the rest of it's just like. We're not the target audience for it. I guess, but it's still fucking terrible. 
It's terrible. It is objectively stupid looking. It, it's, it, I mean, good God. How drunk do you have to be to go out in that? All right, it's the last one for this year, and you knew it, I, I, I hoped it wouldn't be. I hoped it wouldn't be this, but I knew it was going to be this. We all knew it was going to be this because this is who we are as a people. This is who we are as a culture. We knew it was going to be this. The sexy oh, vaccine no. costume. What? And That's it, literally not even a costume. It's not. It's it's so lazy and so bad. All it is, it's a nude dress with a syringe headband. So apparently you take the vaccine by jamming it into your skull. Yeah, that's not where the vaccine goes, by the way. If your nurse tries to give you Moderna in your head, you should leave. I think this one should come with the allegedly tag. Allegedly sexy vaccine costume. Maybe an asterisk on this. Also, like, you're going to wear this costume and just get fucking yelled at by dudes with neck beards all night. You're just inviting yeah. the worst fucking dudes mm-hmm. to yell at you while also trying to fuck you. Yeah. You're just asking for the worst night of your life. And I don't mean that in like an asking for a way. I mean, you are setting yourself up to not have a good time. Yeah. Couldn't it's... we just do sexy Dr. Fauci? I'm sure. I'm sure that probably is good. But this is just this is. This is so it's bad. It's so lazy. I know, right? It's like no one made any fucking effort here. It's like, ah, uh, vac- we're going to do, we got to do a vaccine thing to be topical. So here you go. Here you go. Topical. Like, at least make the dress look like the syringe and give it a pointy hat. I want to point out this one is, is, is one of the few that's not sold out. <laughs> Even the people with the terrible taste on all the other ones saw this and went, pass. Yeah. They're like, you know what? No. No. (laughs) Sexy. This is where we, because you knew, you knew the minute this year was going and how you knew. We did have COVID last year. We did. We we had some. We had some PPE last year. So of course, of course, someone was going to do the sexy, but they they didn't even do it well. They did it no. shitty. They're so bad. It's it's just. It's I just so need more effort from you. Sixty dollars too. Sexy costume people. And it does not include free shipping. I'm going to need you to try a little harder. Sexy costume people. You like? Come on. It's 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 disappointing on so many levels. It's like an onion. There's layers. Yeah. Just disappointing all the way down. It's like you're making a vaccine costume and you're not the even putting any effort terrible. into it. But if it was well done, I could be like, eh. this is just we've got like 300 new dresses in the warehouse. What are we going to do? I've got an idea. Oh, put a fucking headband on it. Yeah. 